Hello friends, welcome to Original Tech on Target. It will be our 11th video on Bazoo. In this particular video, we will see how we can monitor the container environment. Uh, if I give you the quick information about our channel and uh, videos till we have made, we have seen how what is Bazoo, how we can do installation and application in Bazoo. It's different modules, then we see it's different way of installation by using docker or directly on kubernetes we have done installation in the last video on ekr here we are focusing on our today video which is you see uh, it is the container security containers security all the information you will find on official doc and if you say here uh it just need to click over here to start it it's saying that you first have to install some dependencies over here like python pip and python docker library here is this link dependency we can install only linux server either it is of yum flavor or apt flavor means it is a debian or red hat flavor like you can first update the repository and install the pip python 3 and pip 3 using pip 3 you install the or upgrade the pip here you uh, install the python 3 pip then in the last you have the dependency of python docker library uh, currently here is the docker 4.2.0 so uh, just run this command on your on the machine uh, where you want to deploy a Wazoo agent for this particular purpose pip3 install docker 4.2.0 then you are ready uh, you have downloaded uh, installation dependency part is done now you are ready to monitor docker server now move to next part monitoring docker server we have seen multiple features like uh, if you see here we have done vulnerabilities integrities security check oh there are multiple features active response you can see here all the features are available here how we can achieve that uh, if you want to know about this feature you go to video or you just click over here you will move to uh, was documentation and you can learn about this if you don't uh, know about these features all these, these features are contained what we have to do to configure it just go over as you know we when whenever we are installing or enabling disabling any modules on wazu what we are doing we are just going to osec file as it's inherit its property from osec it's very famous monitoring tool uh, we just need to add a boodle in the where osec etc con osec .con file uh, it is a centralized config so uh, it will start a new thread to listen the docker events already there are multiple events it's uh, listening like vulnerabilities integrity different uh, there are lots of logs while it's collecting logs now by using this it start to listen the docker logs it if you dis if disable do disable yes here it will not listen then restart the wazoo service and this would is need to be added only where we, we may have a more than 100 and number of uh, agents but we have to add this model only in the server where our docker is run so uh, when we add this model it start fetching logs of uh, the container and now this we if we come back here after monitoring security we have seen the configuration but we just need to add one model only then we will see its use case what is the use case like someone run the command docker start apache means uh what it's saying that docker start here is a container by name of apache and we are giving the command to start the container what it will do it will just go uh, 
it will start uh, fetching its log and fetching it that it's the agent id and the agent name on it's our first agent and uh, it will give us the description that it's run the command dnh installation and same way uh, we will get alerts in the form of json it's the json format we will get the alert uh, if we want on our slack page uh, i have already told you we also need to add a Moodle for Slack or whatever page duty you want. Then if we move next, first we start the container. Now we are going to stop the container. This alert is generated by using the command. Whenever someone executes this command, alert will be generated. As someone had stopped the, you can customize this alert when you want to uh, get notified when you are not want someone same. Whenever some post it Apache or whatever container, it will in this form of JSON, it will send you the alert. So if you some unpause the command, same way it will work. So that's all for container security. What we are uh, getting here, we have a container environment where our docker is installed and some application is running as a container in this case we have apache whenever it is not uh, like that case someone is daily doing some command on this environment uh, once our app is stable and running if we don't have a new person we don't put the commands so what what we will do that uh, when someone uh, executes the command of to stop the then B or whatever the authorized person will get the alerts. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.